the bank is a round building deep inside the Vatican, you can glimpse it, but you and I may go no further. In its 70 years of life, it has been accused by US and Italian police of money laundering, for the Mafia, for a Masonic lodge, there's been suicide and unexplained deaths. Most recently, an investigation into a priest who allowed his lawyer a 30 million euro secret account. But to hear Vatican officials, that's now the past. The bank, of course, has had its problems. It has also taken some good steps. The Holy See under Pope Benedict XVI in terms of getting uh, things in order with money vol. Basically saying, submitting yourself to an investigation, saying, OK, how, how clean are we? Where do we have to improve? And the report card on money vol was not bad. But when it came to a clean out of senior bank officers, the Vatican turned to the equally secretive Swiss. Swiss, but yeah. you know, not quite the same as bringing in something a, a, from a, within a, the eurozone. No, 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 exactly, exactly. No, I think that was interesting, and we'll see, we'll see how that how that how that pans off. Women workers are currently painstakingly restoring the colonnades, deftly covering the blemishes. But what about the church's failure to clean up sex abuse in its ranks, most recently involving the Scots cardinal? After his butler leaked correspondence describing corruption and worse, the Pope ordered an investigation resulting in a secret dossier which the Cardinals voting tonight have not been allowed to see. That dossier, that investigation, was an investigation into leaks. People gave information to the Cardinals' commission, knowing that it was going only to them and to the Pope. And so it would be a kind of breach of confidence, or, or very definitely a breach of confidence. I doubt he'll publish it. Challenges galore then, and not much expectation that the process will produce any dramatic change.